Let's take a quick look at how we can buy Bitcoin using Cash App, whether you want to make a single purchase or set up repeating buys with the auto invest feature. We'll get started by opening Cash App on our phone. If you haven't installed it yet, just go to the App Store, search for Cash App, and then download and install it. And if you do already have it installed, you can also check for any updates so that you know that you're using the most current version like I'm going to be using here. After you have the app open and you're signed in, tap the balance icon on the lower left corner of the screen. If you have a Cash App balance right now, you're going to see that amount there. If you don't though, the icon may just appear as a bank symbol instead. Inside of this menu, again at the top, you're going to see your Cash App balance. At the bottom, you're going to see two options, Bitcoin and Stocks. In the past, or if you haven't updated your app, then these will be inside of the Invest section. Once you make your first Bitcoin purchase, the Bitcoin balance like I have here is going to appear along with the price change percentages. So since we want to buy some Bitcoin, we'll go ahead and tap on the Bitcoin option. Inside of the Bitcoin page here, you're going to see your current balance if you already own any, the latest Bitcoin price, and then the options to buy, sell, or receive Bitcoin. To make a purchase, we're going to go ahead and tap buy. A menu is going to then pop up with presets like $10, 25, 50, 75, and 100. If you want to do a specific amount, we can tap the three dots at the end. And then inside of here, we can enter any value that we want. You can actually start as low as $1 if you wanted to do that. One other thing that we'll look at real quick is since we want this to be a one-time order, we can see at the top underneath of buy Bitcoin that it says one-time order. If for some reason right now this doesn't, tap the change order type drop-down menu and make sure to select one-time order. These other options are what we're going to look at in just a minute, but I'll exit out of this again and then enter the amount of money that I want to buy in Bitcoin. Once we have that, tap next on the bottom of the screen. Cash App is probably going to ask you to complete a brief verification if this is your first Bitcoin transaction. It may include confirming your legal name, the date of birth, and the last four digits of your social security number. This verification though is only going to need to be done once. As you can see with mine, it didn't ask. Once that's complete, you're going to then see a summary of your order showing the amount of Bitcoin that you're buying, the funding source such as your Cash App balance or a linked bank, the current exchange rate, and then any fees. Review the details and if everything looks good, you can tap confirm on the bottom. Your Bitcoin will then be purchased and added to your balance instantly. Now, the next thing that we can look at, if we want to automate our purchases, Cash App offers auto invest. To set this up, we'll return back to the main Bitcoin screen and then we'll tap buy again. This time though, before we enter the amount, we'll choose that drop down that we looked at before where it says change order type. This time we'll select auto invest. We can then change this from our one time order to daily, weekly, or bi-weekly. And again though, if we just wanted this to be a one time purchase, we could choose one time order. But I'll choose weekly and then hit next at the bottom. One thing to note now, whenever we're setting this up for auto invest, the minimum is now going to be $10 per transaction. So we can select 10, tap next at the bottom again, and then here Cash App will then show a summary of the auto invest plan. We can then review all of this information and if it looks good to us, tap confirm at the bottom. Cash App will then automatically purchase Bitcoin based on the selected schedule and the amount that we just set. This is something that you might want to do if you want to invest in something like Bitcoin over a long period of time and you don't want to have to think about it, you just want it to happen in the background automatically. Just remember though, things especially like Bitcoin are extremely risky, so only do this if you think about it as money that you can lose. I'm definitely not a financial advisor, so you do this at your own risk. And that's how you buy Bitcoin using Cash App, whether you want to make a single purchase or create an automatic investing schedule. Thanks for watching.